Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you didn't miss me that much. We're coming up with a video unboxing and we're going to the Django 1911 side of things. Nope, that's not the one. It's just my guest blade and he's going to be doing the cutting for opening a box that we have here. So hope you guys are fine. You know, it's been a rough and tumble week or with a month, I'd say, with the with YouTube doing the algorithm thing and uh, the, the demonetization of thousands of channels. And I hope the channels that have already crossed the 1000 mark will be carried over with the monetization and all. But there's some that's still gonna be, you know, we don't know what's gonna be the, the status of for the 4000 hour mark. I don't even know if this channel will qualify, but I thank you for everyone because the 1000 subscriber mark I'm already over that so this is the first video after that 1000 subscriber mark and now uh, let's just do a quick unboxing messy 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 Just one more for good measure, firing nicely. Again, all right. So, out of the way, unboxing of this OKC Ontario Knife Company knife. So, what would this be? Ha! The OKC literature, what it is. A sheath that is just could be better but still it's there the OKC shoelace one is dilapidated because it's probably chewed up by the edge there's another one here shorter one which is okay and the knife itself which is doing that from the box not so safe but there you go uh, sorry I have a bit of cold so excuse me if I do get that Is it, is it inside the frame? I think it is. Wait one sec. So I finally got the OKC Kukri. 1095 steel. Traction coated. Made in the USA. Kukri style blade. What more can you ask for? Cheaper prices? Yeah, that's probably a best, uh, that's probably a good, good thing to ask. But along with cheaper prices, you also get the, the quality that suffer with it. So I guess it's just a balance between the two. First off, how does this handle? Holding it, it's... Hmm. It's really not blade heavy. The thickness... That's the thickness. The shape of how the kukri goes is its main thing. You know, there's a forward momentum going as you go for the chop. That's what makes it so damn popular. I mean, that's its selling point. That's why you get a kukri because of that momentum on the forward edge, on the leading edge, as, as you go chopping. Let's just do a quick, quick measure from the pommel to the tip. That is 16 and 3 fourths, 16.75 inches. Now the total 
blade area that's the sharpened edge that's 10 inches from that bladed sharpened edge to the tip that's 10 inches from the from the handle going to the tip that's a that thing that's one foot of blade material sticking out but this one the sharpened edge is just 10 inches overall handle how long is it oh that's five inches so the Kraton handle sticky with this rubber gloves and I guess that's that's one positive thing about it and the shape of it it's elongated it's not round the profile there's a bit of a very subtle palm swell there so it really feels comfy in the hand not so thick it's just about right and the Kraton material itself it's not really soft it's still solid you know you cannot squish it in it's a blend of plastic and rubber and I think it's longer lasting than just say a rubber handle very important this one a lanyard hole um, I, I, I won't say it's it's lacking in the grip area but the lanyard hole is just nice so that you can just put the lanyard into your hand for retention on the blade that looks nice you know it it's a tactical tactical thing with your with your sheath marked with a OKC logo yep I think it's gonna be holding up nice you know it's it's not gonna be so something that's gonna be somehow it's, it's still gonna do a good job of retaining that sheet there see it's there so this one it's, it's got its rivets and hopefully you're not gonna be getting hit this 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 part here in the tip without that leather covering here I'm sure just a bit of action going that direction that pointy tip would be getting out of there and doing something to you so uh, yeah the this is where you put your leather belt so it, it's in the side and you can retain this here this one but this one like I said it's got a what happened it, it got hit it got nicked mm -hmm. so that got nicked by the blade itself so I'm gonna put a different lanyard there anyways how heavy is it very important for this kind of uh, for the size of a blade uh, the blade alone it's 18.6 ounces 1.16 pounds 530 grams 0.530 kilograms 18.6 530 grams it's a bit you know it's good uh, you, you're just around that typical weight of a cookie plus the sheet because it's important you can't go anywhere without that sheet that's 21.5 ounces 1.34 pounds 611 grams so the whole entire system with the sheet that's 611 grams and yeah uh, you're good to go it's really not that heavy it's acceptable that's what I'm trying to say um, mm -hmm. not really its main purpose but let's see how 1095 steel sharpened from the factory goes about cutting daily stuff There are, what you call this, there are angles on the blade. This bellied part here, it's it's kind of sharp. You know, it's, I'm sure it's just the angle and how it goes into the paper. Especially how I'm videoing it, so. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> that was successful. I hope this one too. 
see this part here that's uh, that's a really sweet spot and it's cutting paper nicely see every time I see I say that when it say cutting paper nicely and then when I do it it doesn't do that so it's just the angle of the paper but for factory edge seems to be doing a good job that bevel seems to be doing a good job there's a little bit of a uh, see that that could have been better but um, yeah deeper bevel here as compared to bevel here so I like the blade I mean what's not to like I'm sure you would like to see some of uh, some chopping action and I do have a tree outside that needs to go so I would probably use this compared to another chopper that I have that's mainly that's main sole purpose was to chop down shrubs or trees outside I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that at a different video I'm sure you'd like that you know see some see some other other things beside this and the in a tabletop review I would like to do that so I guess that is that is it um, let me see if I have anything missing I haven't done a tabletop review for the longest time you know just just so because I was <sighs> that's a nice setup you know have this as your external and you have this for for your internal you know inside the pocket that's a nice setup I like that so that's a post giving you a comparison with a fixed blade and a folding blade knife Not smaller so I guess that would be it just a straight-up unboxing video for you guys and uh, like I said this this channel is just about to go into lots of things and uh, I hope you're seeing it already motorcycles cars and uh, some the knife would always be there it would always be there that's that's how it guns the gears it's just that guns yeah, we I, I don't get to have lots of guns out because if you are not aware Davao City is under Mindanao Philippines and uh, it's still under martial law so we as a civilian we cannot carry guns so guns shooting and everything it's taken a halt for a time being and we're just concentrating here on other stuff uh, the, the knives and the gears they're not gonna stop plus the moto vlogs uh, I hope you like the moto vlogs I'm gonna be doing lots of stuff with the moto vlogs and this one too so do subscribe if you haven't first time on the channel hit the bell icon so every time I upload something you are gonna be notified that hey there's a new upload Django Moto 1911 has a new upload so you need to better check check out that video hit the like button if you do like the video if not then just leave some civilized comments the uncivilized ones I just don't tend to care for them and don't bother anyways because haters gotta hate they, 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 that's what they do so anyways don't hate uh, love and appreciate and that's better it's that's not uh, anger is such such a bothersome thing so anyways you guys uh, thank you for your support as always you have been there the guys that have been with me please stick to it I really do appreciate that for the new ones thank you thank you we're growing into the channel the 1,000 subscriber mark I just need to do a giveaway I just don't have the time to do that yet but uh, do do watch out for it because I'm gonna do the giveaway definitely so hope you like the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one